Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty for another episode, and it's getting short in time now. Modern Warfare 3 is about to be tucked into bed and the cover's pulled over its head. Another episode of Try Something New, and it's the SPX-80 OG sniper for me. I thought it was the mainstay of Modern Warfare 2 as far as sniping, and I think it's pretty decent in Modern Warfare 3 also. So here is the configuration that I use. Let's take a look at what it can do for us. 405 to the noggin. I mean, that's really going to give them a headache. Upper torso 240, lower torso 180. So it's a one-shot GAC anywhere in the torso and above, probably even through cover. I think I got one hit marker in about six games that I played with it. Upper leg damage goes down to 135. You can see the range is at 40 meters. This is a composite number based on the attachments I hung off of it and 42 meters is plenty. It's more than I need on the maps that I play on. Bullet velocity is 803.2 meters per second, which means the hit scan range, 40 meters. That's the effective damage range. So at 40 meters, it's like a point blank shot. You can see that it's not good for hip fire, but I did get a few and the ADS speed is decent for a sniper at 477 milliseconds. You can look at mobility. Let's take it into the shooting range and see what happens. Make sure we go up to the desk here. Boom! Headshot. Let's just try to hit the upper torso on this one. It's a one-shot gack. And then anywhere, essentially above the legs for this poor dummy. Dummy. That's what my dad used to call me when I was growing up. Hey, dummy. I think he liked to watch Sanford and Son, and that's what Sanford called his son, Lamont. Speaking of what my father called me, he always told me to get to work. So let's get to work with the OG SPX-80. Take it to the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's OG-averse enemies. Let's go. All right, we're going to the drive-in. Don't play this map too much. Kind of like it. It's pretty colorful. My dad, I was just talking about him. Great guy. He was a World War II refugee in Europe. Oh, yeah, that's not very nice. Spent some time in a displaced persons camp as a kid in Germany. He was Polish, actually, and they found their way to the American occupation zone. That's quite a story. It's actually read into the Senate, U.S. Senate records. A senator read a biography about my dad to the to the Senate, and it's in the record. It's really, I'm really quite proud of my father. He passed away a few years ago. All right, let's be, get back to the SPX-80. It is quite a war machine. Oh, who is that? Let's whack that mole. Play whack-a-mole, not gack-a-mole. Let's whack him, then gack him. Look at this. Grandpa self-medicating again, and he pays for it. We secured the lead. Must have stepped on one of my mines. Whoa. Hello, there's a zombie in the corner. And isn't there always when you walk into McDonald's or Burger King or Whataburger, there's always a zombie hiding in the corner waiting to gack you. So be aware of that. There's Leather Jacket Boy. Seems to be doing quite good, this weapon. See if I can jump up on a table. No, I don't like it as much. Muppeting is not my style. Ooh, I think I got him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, didn't get him. Didn't get him. I don't know if you could hear it. The dogs were barking in the background there. Three Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. There's a little red riding hood for the first time in history. She's on my team. Oh, well, how, how can you miss a big head like that? I tell you, all these statues, these little characters around there, I always think they're one of the enemy muppeting. And Grandpa gets gack when he's trying to take out their equipment. 
You guys remember trying to get the Interstellar on the Stormender? Oh, I saw it. I tried to avoid it. That Stormender wouldn't take out any equipment except for proximity mines and... What is that? There, got them. Proximity mines. And claymores, that's what it was. Boom. Got you. Muppeting. Play oh, <laughs> that's our guy, guy. Muppeting. Average soldier. Let's let her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. Dark intruder or whatever that skin is. Throwing a bullet out at my own team there. Oh, there's the zombie again. Oh, he's Elvis. Zombie Elvis. Wants to eat your brains. I wonder if they serve brains at this drive-in for the zombie customers. Whoa, some fish are biting. There's a hip shot. Lucky. Lucky shot. What? That guy's got the biggest head on earth, yet he seems to be the hardest person to gack for Grandpa. Uh, might as well there. He's easier with a duel with the Akimbo Renettis. What's going on here? Oh, there's a likely enemy. Follow him around. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> He's moving. Grandpa couldn't keep up keep up with that movement. There he is again. We gotta beat him down. Let's just throw that thing out at the door. Kind of a welcome to our establishment. Oh, but up. Oh, okay, it ended right there. Before those things could do any damage. All right, Grandpa kind of liked it. The SPX 80. Oh, this is gonna be a test. Das House. And first thing that happens is Grandpa gets obliterated by a shield user. I'll get him back, though. There. I'll, hold that bullet for Grandpa. Boom. There he is again. And he obliterates Grandpa again. And I go right back to B because that is the key to winning this one. Go to B and go no further. Do not go in the enemy spawn, which some of my teammates are at A. Some of my less intelligent teammates. Let's keep B. Jackson, oh, there he is. Right, get away from him. Fire one off. I've got a thermite saved up for him. No, I don't have a thermite. Oh my gosh. Let's get him. Grandpa's basically just playing as a team member. Domination here. Trying to own B. And somebody drops a streak on Grandpa's head. It's early in the game. We need to climb up the ladder there. It's a tough map to snipe on. Because there are people everywhere. Like right there. Hold that for me. I think Michael Myers was on our team. Haven't seen his brother Otis. Otis Myers. His average soldier. There goes Michael. Don't go into the... Yep. They're going into the spawn. You can see up on the map and they're getting gacked. We just hold C and B. We win the game. Looks like they didn't flip the spawn because they couldn't live. Oops, there's a miss. A swing and a miss for strike one. Got him that time. Whoa, 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 self-medicate. Which we couldn't do as a pilot. You're not supposed to self-medicate. The flight surgeon is supposed to know everything that goes in your body. Let's see. IMS is doing work. Two gacks there. Whoa, I can see one flying. Still guarding B. Let's guard the entrance to B. As long as they don't flip the spawn, we'll be good. 
already getting customers or somebody hanging in their spawn and I get shielded. Grandpa gets shielded again. And he gets his revenge. There he is again. Move that shield, Grandpa will gack you. Oh, that's Grandpa's spot. Take a snort. Oh, I missed him that time. We can set up here. Protect B. And I've got hacked IFF strobe on. So, boom. So that helicopter chopper is not going to bother me at all. It's like my third time around for the streaks. I think some of the team, our team and their team, looks like somebody must have flipped the spawn on us. I got A, by the way. I didn't think you wanted to see that. Bad guy. Oh, it's Elvis. It's Elvis. Well, Grandpa, it's at the end of the game. Grandpa just wants to get a couple more gacks. Without flipping the spawn. Guy's probably frustrated by now. So, overall, I think the SPX-80 is a wonderful weapon. Give it a try. Let me know if you haven't been using it. And comments. As always, like and subscribe. I appreciate that a lot. Helps me, helps the family, as does joining the Air Crew Lounge. I have over 150 people who have joined now. I'm very, very thankful for them. Cheers, and as always, peace to you.